Welcome back. I'm Alec Velshi, live in Wilmington, North Carolina. The state's governor issuing this dire warning. The time to prepare is almost over. Florence's damaging winds and rains are expected to begin hitting the coast early Friday morning, maybe Thursday night. You'll certainly feel the effects of it uh, earlier than that. Depending on how long Florence drifts, some coastal areas could see more than three feet of rain. At the same time, residents could be dealing with tropical storm wind gusts for up to 60 straight hours and hurricane wind gusts for 24 straight hours. This place that I'm in right now might be under hurricane force winds for 24 hours. Think about that new video. This is it just in from the International Space Station shows you how massive this storm is. It's swirling at 130 miles per hour across the Atlantic, moving at about 17 miles per, per hour. Joining me live is Ken Graham. He's the director of the National Hurricane Center. Ken, I've been watching your updates regularly. I, I want to ask you one thing that people are asking me on Twitter. There are different types of forecasts. There are different forecasting models and they show slightly different things. Why are there different forecasts and why do we decide which ones we're using and, and not decide on others? Yeah, we got different models that we use here at the Hurricane Center. And, you know, we do get those different tracks. But what we do here, instead of using one or two, we actually use what's called an ensemble. So we get dozens of model runs within there. And you do get some different tracks at times. But for the most part, we, we use a combination. We try to use that ensemble and use a, an average of those. And it really helps us out make that forecast. But the thing is, with this system, we need to be careful looking at those models. We need to be really careful looking at the, the track in this case. The storm is so big and the impacts are so large, even those impacts of hurricane force winds, rain, and storm surge extend out of the cone. So that's what we need to be careful of. Let's concentrate definitely on these impacts. What, in your opinion, is, are the most dangerous aspects of the storm? And we can't isolate because wind is dangerous, flooding is dangerous, storm surge is dangerous. Uh, what, what are you worried about here? You know, just every facet of the impacts with this system becomes a major player because once you start slowing down the systems, if you were talking about, look how slow. Each one of these is another forecast point. The closer those are together, the slower the storm. And areas receiving prolonged winds over saturated soil. So we're looking at prolonged power outages and winds. Look at the rainfall forecast. It's just absolutely staggering, 20 to 40 inches potentially, and even stretching inland. So remember, it's not just a coastal event here. Those inland floods can be extremely dangerous, especially with terrain. We see 6 to 10 inches over portions of of North Carolina and some of the forecasts looking at some of that heavy rain getting into South Carolina very dangerous and of course the storm surge causing half the fatalities traditionally and looking back in history uh, in these tropical systems and the storm surge is just staggering in some of these areas with values four to nine feet nine to 13 feet so so critical to pay attention to where you are listen to those local officials and if they tell you to get out yeah you got to get out today's the last day we need to prepare for this in terms of the magnitude of this storm and the number of people affected by it, a few days ago, places like Charlotte were still on the periphery. Columbia, South Carolina was going to get some bad weather and maybe some flooding, nothing serious. Atlanta was uh, in the clear. And now all three of those cities might be getting the effects of this storm fairly directly. And that shows how large this system is. I mean, looking at this, you know, this is 170 miles away from that center. We have those tropical storm force winds. And look at anywhere in here. This is still our cone. And that really means two thirds of the time the center could be any one of these areas. And as a result, those impacts are going to be widespread. So if you look at it with time, it's really about being ready. It's not necessarily uh, looking at the, the, the values of, of where you are. That could change with time. Small shifts in that forecast right. adjust the rainfall values. Uh, little differences can make a big difference on the ground. Right. And, and, and again, as I was talking to the town manager uh, from Carolina Beach, about 15 miles from here, uh, there are still some people who think that sticking around helps them save their property. When you are talking about this type of wind, that type of rain, the force in which it comes in and the storm surge, no person can save their property. Yeah, in this case, you have that kind of, we're talking like, you know, 10 foot of storm surge, 13. You talk about prolonged winds. That property gets damaged and destroyed and, you know, with the storm surge and the flooding. So the bottom line here is about saving lives. That's our mission here at the Weather Service and, and throughout the Hurricane Center here. So the bottom line is saving your life. If the officials tell you to leave, you've got to get out to protect your life. Simple as that. All right. Based on what you've seen in prior storms, particularly when we look at things like Harvey, the, the, the lasting effect, people might say I can make it through uh, a few days of a storm. The issue is here now we're having people fairly honestly say it'll be a matter of days, if not longer, before you get your power back and you get fresh water. Yeah, because of the, the slow speed here. So if you think about it, you know, this is a hurricane. So you got a hurricane right off the coast and that right there looking at uh, Thursday night and then 
Friday morning, and this right here is, is Saturday. Look how long we're a hurricane right on the coast. So we're talking about prolonged winds even outside this cone. So if you think about it, all that rain and you have the winds for so long, that's going to knock down trees. You're going to have incredible power outages, long lasting effects. So it's not necessarily about just getting through. It's the after effects. It's the indirect effects. And that can also be deadly as we lose power, you're hot, and, and all the issues associated with the indirect fatalities. we got to keep an eye on that, too. Just because you get through it doesn't mean you're out of danger. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.